this is uh, in reply to what uh, Minister uh, Jamal Kher uh, said yesterday. Let me just read the statement. Huh? Yesterday in a written parliamentary reply to my question as to when unilateral conversion would be banned, the Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Jamal Kher Baharum, stated that one parent can decide on conversion and that any legislation to ban unilateral conversion is unconstitutional. The public is shocked by the answer which is, set, which is a setback to the progress on promised reforms in this area as well as an U-turn to the 2009 Cabinet decision on unilateral conversion of minors. In 2009, the Cabinet has decided that a child must follow the religion practiced by the parents at the time of marriage in the event of one of them opts to convert. But this is the, this is the benchmark of the Cabinet at all material times. Although the directive didn't have the bite of the law, as it was a mere advice only. Notwithstanding so, the directive was reasonable and fair and in the interest of all. Last year, the Cabinet has set up a five-man Cabinet Committee, namely the third committee on the same issue, whose membership included Dato Sri Nazri, Dato Liao, Dato Joseph Kurop and Dato Dr. Subramaniam to deal with interfaith conversion and custody matters. Dr. Subramaniam had said in January, that the Prime Minister has agreed in principle to consider amending the law to prevent children from being converted to another religion without the consent of both parents. There is some uh, link there. So is the parliamentary answer provided by Jami K the latest and new policy stand taken by the Cabinet Committee? I suspect the committee would not have agreed to this disturbing and unreasonable interpretation and stand taken by Jamil K. Last Thursday, in the Indra Gandhi case, while trying to obtain leave to refer a matter of public importance, a question specifically on the meaning and effect of parent was agreed to be referred for full hearing at the Federal Court. This is the issue as far as the courts go, is not final. The present narrow and restrictive reading of parent ought to be done away with. Reading and applying rationally the interpretation aspect should settle this issue. Article 160, bracket 1 of the Constitution which refers to the 11th Schedule with respect to the provisions of interpretation of the General Clauses Ordinance with respect to 2 bracket 95 follows construction of singular or plural.